Morning, welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. On this Tuesday morning, I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I. And as we've been doing, let us begin with our litany first. There they crucified him. And you who were dead in your trespasses, God made alive together with Christ, having given us all our trespasses by canceling the record that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. Christ is the Holy One through whom the world was made, and all things serve him, Christ the Son, on whom our sins were laid. Jesus bore our sins in his body, and he was nailed to the cross to suffer the penalty of death in our place. Lord Jesus, we offer to you our praise and thanksgiving, because you suffered and died to pay the debt of sin that we owed. Hear this, all people. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world. Both low and high, rich and poor, together. Truly no man can ransom another or give to God the price of his life, for the ransom of their life is costly and can never suffice, that he should live or forever, or on forever and never see the pit. But God will ransom my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Our sins were a debt that we could not pay. We deserve death and separation from God for all eternity. Jesus paid our debt. We were ransomed not with gold or silver, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. To receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. See love that never fails, displayed for all to see. Pinned to a cross by iron nails, Christ sacrificed for me. Our reading today comes from Jeremiah, the 10th chapter. For the customs of the people are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fastened it with hammer and nails so that it could not move. Their idols are like scarecrows in a, a, cumber, a cucumber field, and they cannot speak. They have to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. There is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For this is your due. For among all the wise ones of the nations and, all, and in all the kingdoms, there is none like you. We'll now continue with our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout for him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid or of any terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and most high your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in your hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. 
You shall tread under the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet, because he is bound to me in love. Therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I, I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy you and show him my salvation. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, when tempted by the devil, you remain true to your Father, who commanded his angels to watch over you. Guard your church from the plague of sin, so that, they, so that we may remain faithful to you until the day when we enjoy the fullness of your salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Well, we continue our reading in Jeremiah in the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 21. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, and for burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat the flesh. For in the day that I brought you out of the land of Egypt, I did not speak to your fathers or command them concerning burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this command I gave them, obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk in all the ways that I command you, that it may be well with you. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but walk in their own counsels and the stubbornness of their evil hearts and went backwards and not forward. From the day from your fathers came out of the la out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have I have uh, per persistently sent all my servants, the prophets, to them day after day. Yet they did not listen to me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did not. They did worse than their fathers. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them. This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished and it is cut off from their lips. Cut off your uh, cut off your hair and cast it away. Raise the lamentation on the bare heights, for the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the sons of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to defile it. And they have built the high place of uh, Topheth, which is in the valley of the son of, uh, of Hinnon, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I did not con command, nor did it come into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when it will no more be called Topheth, or the valley of the son of Hinnon, but the valley of slaughter, for they will bury in, in Topheth, because there, uh, there is no room elsewhere. And the dead bodies of these people will be food for the birds of the air and for the beasts of the earth, and none will frighten them away. And I will make a cease from the cities of Judah and from the, uh, uh, and from the streets of Jerusalem, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall become a waste. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Romans, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 13. The promise of Abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. It is in the adherence of the law, uh, it is the adherence of the law who are the, to be the heirs. Faith is null, excuse me, if it is the adherent of the law who are to be heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath. But where there is no law, there is no transgression. That is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God to whom, in whom he believed, who gave life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. In hope he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in the faith when he considered his own body, which was of good, which, which was as good as dead because he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. That is why his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. But the words, it was reckoned to him, was written not for his sake alone,
but for ours also. It will be a reckon to us who believe in him that raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who was put to death for our transgresses, transgresses and raised for our justification. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But and now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Let righteousness roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let righteousness roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Lord, you call us to your service and continue your saving work among us. May your love never abandon us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day, and I hope you'll join us tomorrow on Wednesday. Bye-bye.